Hello everyone, welcome to McFizzle's Hardcore Survival World Season 5 Between the Streams 2 and 3 Part 1 Because uh, I've done so much stuff off the stream that I've got I had to bank I had to take some time out from the stream to actually clear out all of this stuff so I've got way too much footage between the streams so I'm trying to clear that out and then I can do a better better job of sort of um, balancing the stuff between the streams and just on the stream so this will go through all of the uh, exciting stuff that happened off the stream so uh, where st 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 I can't even remember where the stream ended. I guess I'd already. It looks like I've already started my underground base, and yeah, I'm just digging out, um, digging out all of the stuff so I can start. Um, my first goal in this was to get uh, a space, get d dirt down here so I can. Um, uh, get grass so then I can start farming and getting animals and all of that sort of stuff but uh, it just had it ended up becoming like having to exca excavate a huge space uh, which I thought would be better off the stream than um, on the stream so I'm gonna have to um, it'd be much easier to talk about over you know a few of these between the stream episodes rather than you know multiple hours worth of stuff but I did get some achievements and I uh, had some exciting moments in this as well so so this is me oh look at this slow motion kill of a cow boom good goodbye cow and so um, yeah it looks like here oh yeah this is the other reason I went I did so much stuff off the stream was that I don't know I had some problems getting into my Minecraft game it was taking ages to load in which you can hear on my last stream where I get really grumpy about it the stream num episode 2 so you can see I've got the Alex skin instead of my normal McFizzle skin and I just thought well I don't want to have streaming episodes without my McFizzle skin so I just thought I'd do a whole bunch of stuff off you know I wouldn't stream while I had that skin so that's another reason why I was doing all this stuff but yeah I'm just moving all that stuff from that village downstairs and then continuing the digging and the the lava filling inage and stuff like that so much lava so much obsidian I've got so much obsidian it's ridiculous got like half a double chest full of obsidian so I was gonna make a giant ender portal like as like 60 block square ender portal oh that's the end of the first episode the first section so yeah it's all split up into there's about 10 <laughs> parts to this one and then there's another 20 parts so there's gonna be I think there's 20 episodes, well, 19 episodes, sections of the of between two and three, and then there's like another 10 or so episodes between three and four. So I did. A, I've done a, quite a lot of stuff, but it is mostly stuff like this. Oh, this was this huge, big. Um, the other thing I was thinking of, it's just like I can't remember what any of this stuff is, so. I'm, I'm re revisiting it. So this was this huge big lava flow that was coming out of the roof and I was going to affect my uh, excavating. So I went up the top and then just immediately got attacked by a zombie who I quickly um, defeated and then yeah, back to the fast. So yeah, it took me, it took me a while to I was thinking about going around the the lava flow in with glass, but then I just thought, nah, I'm gonna have to get rid of it. So, 
Yeah, you see I slowed it down a bit there so you can see. It was a bit of a surprise getting attacked. Even though it shouldn't have been because it's pitch black dark and it's the middle of nowhere. So Anyway, so that bit's done. And so that's the most dangerous sort of section of of the down here. It's the problem with digging a bait, having a base at bedrock level is just so much digging in lava. But what I what I've enjoyed doing uh, <laughs> is like how fast I dig with the pickaxe on on, uh, on the thing. It even blurs. Like when I was w going through the, these videos, you just it turns into like this weird sort of blurring action, which is quite uh, funny. So yeah, I'm extract. I, I think. Uh, I don't know exactly what. So you see where these chests are and the bed. All this stuff ends up being like right up the top of the of the chamber, so so to speak, because they dig out so much stuff by the end. And so I don't even know if I've. Um, doesn't look like I have. So yeah, this is me, just the first plants, this is the first attempt at trying to grow some trees down here. I figured like the space was big enough now that a tree could grow. I have no idea of any of the mechanics of how trees grow and what blocks need to be next to them. I sort of suspect now that you can't have it next to, it can't have like stone or obsidian or bedrock above it right next to it, it has to be dirt otherwise it won't work that's my theory but yeah now I'm starting to really get along here with this digging because I'm starting to get under the dirt staircase so I got a dirt staircase so I can get the grass to grow from this you know the surface all the way down you know to um, to where I my base is going to be so I can have you know animals and stuff spawn down here Yeah, wouldn't it be great if you could mine obsidian that fast in real life? So yeah, I've got no enchantments on any of my stuff uh, still. Like even up, you know, I'd be up to stream episode number four if I did a stream. So I still don't have enchantments. Like that becomes the, like a big focus of the of mine is trying to get an enchantment table. Just because, yeah, so much, so much digging. I'm going to have so much more digging to do. Like, this is really just the tip of the iceberg. So, yep, I got my first tree to grow, which was very exciting. I was stoked when I got my first tree. So I could start making torches and, and uh, using, getting wood to grow. So, But since I figured I've got so much digging to do anyway, I'll just grow one tree at a time and I can just let the the leaves despawn and get all the saplings that I can and stuff like that. But hopefully I'll have a bit of a tree farm going underground at some point. So, so this is the method that I've decided on is, you know, I sort of s have it staircase you know, I don't know what the f I liked the height that the top of this chamber had, like the roof. So um, I sort of picked a spot, and then the center block, which was the at the very bottom of the staircase. As soon as I hit obsidian, that was the center block, and then went out in concentric squares from that. And then once I got a bit of a base, I would stagger it staircase style up. So because I knew I was going to have to dig out a lot of obsidian. So I figured that's the safest way to get rid of it is in a staircase style. So without having potions or stuff like that. So it's mostly for safety. But later on you sort of see it, it has a sort of a it has a pretty cool look when you when you dig out a, a flat surface. Those cuts really give me a give me a fright when that happens uh, so yeah this is the third part and it's more of the same 
super exciting obsidian digging. <laughs> so much obsidian. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm set. I've got so much cobble. I've got to think of something to do with the cobble um, and obsidian. I'm set for obsidian. Yeah, I don't think you can make giant uh, nether portals, which is a shame. But it sort of makes sense. I think it would probably um, take a lot of. Um, I don't know space or computer stuff to do it. So yeah, it's, and most of this stuff I'm listening to music, so it's not really that boring. To, it's just sort of, it is a bit mindless. It's sort of uh, what I've, the term that I've coined is uh, mindfulness. Because it's, you know, you sort of can switch your brain off and listen to music and do a bunch of mindless um, mining. Make your make your base look good. Don't have to think too much, which is which is, which is really fun. Because I, I and I, I'm enjoying it because I have a lot more. I was what was stressing me out. I think about the last series was I just didn't have time to do those to listen to music and do those sort of things that I like to do. So I thought it. This way I can get rid of all the boring stuff in the streams and then at least speed it up, listen to my music. And I've also sort of started doing a bit of work with this um, share factory, which I've wanted to have a go at sort of working at editing and stuff like that, which I've really enjoyed, even though I've, I'm only sort of doing the very the basics, but it's sort of fun. Um, going through all these old things and learning how to, to do the program. So you can see I'm going right down to bedrock and digging out every block. Um, so it's just totally bedrock. Once I get these silly ideas in my head, I find it really hard to get rid of them. So I wanted to make sure that there was nothing between me and bedrock. <laughs> so. That's what I do. I go all the way down to bedrock. For no for no reason other than it sort of satisfies that um, idea that I had. Which, yeah, I sometimes wish I hadn't had that idea because it's, it's really time consuming. But I'm planning on filling it so where the grass will be it'll be filled up sort of one block above the top bedrock thing and that's where where the the rest of it will be dirt this is the other thing i noticed in going through all these old episodes i just have these moments where i for whatever reason i have to leave the stream or leave recording and i just leave my character just sitting there which is pretty dangerous I, I sort of I, know, I I was very lucky I didn't have any near death experiences doing that, but um, I almost I definitely could have in hindsight, looking back at these videos, I could have easily just got killed by something spawning in. Cause that's the thing down in bedrock you got no idea what time it is, unless you have a clock on you. But I always forget to look at the clocks anyway. I've actually been surprised how few mobs... Oh, what's going on here? I've gone to slow for a sec. Oh, this must be... This is the first time I get uh, a bit of a fright, which is I'm placing dirt and then I get la I get larvaed, which doesn't happen too often, surprisingly. But, yeah, just that little touch of lava was enough to give me, you know, two stars worth of death, so... That's probably in this whole first few bits. That's the most. The the. Uh oh my God! What was that? There's some little dudes crossing the screen. I don't even know what they were. I wonder if that was an edit from my. Uh 
Who knows? <laughs> it works because that's my icon that I have anyway, so I'll leave it in there, whatever it is. To see, see, is sort of the the weird sort of uh, ghosts of the pickaxe when when I'm mining. I don't know why it's doing that now, but you can sort of see it. See, it's like a ghost pickaxe. I wonder if that was an edit point, maybe. Anyway. Oh yeah, here's my first uh, little visitor that spawned in here. Which is, should have been a sign to not just uh, rest in the open. But then I was just like, I don't want you guys in here. You didn't really have anything worth selling, so boom, sword time. Yeah. We just work these llamas over with the diamond sword. Boom. Yo. Die, llama. So yeah, I probably shouldn't have... Uh, see the ghost, ghost pickaxe? I wonder you couldn't see that earlier. So, I'm still, it doesn't look like I've, yeah, it's all obsidian and, so basically I was tr trying to clear it enough to get sort of a dirt area down the bottom, like, um, but then I, re I remembered something that I had to, that I wanted to do in the first place, which is why I have the, the 16 by 16 block square up on the surface but uh, I don't know if that's happening in this episode or not might happen a bit later so yeah more trees more obsidian more ghost pickaxes and dirt and filling in lava holes so you sap, you know, I would see a sapling and then go down and collect all the saplings. So it's, yeah, you can see why I've, I didn't put it on the stream because it just takes it's, it's very very time consuming it doesn't seem as time it di didn't seem as time consuming when I'm doing it because I'm you know I am doing other things but as soon as it, it's, it took ages to put all these together and so I'm planning on doing them a little bit more frequently <coughs> trying to keep these be between the stream episodes um under half an hour, wherever possible. I honestly would rather have more, more of a more streaming content than between the streams. Obviously, so that's the plan going forward. And just, you can sort of see the be the bed starting to float up towards the roof, and it's like way up. It's way up there now. Yeah, I can't remember what the first little thing is that I get. Like, I, g I get a few achievements. Here's, what's this one? What am I doing here? This might be one. Oh yeah, Hot Topic. So yeah, that was my first furnace that I made was just then. And, um, because I've been using the uh, blacksmith's furnaces up on the surface, so... That was the first, yeah, uh, non-streaming achievement slash trophy that I've gotten in the game. There's a, I think, I think I got five or six, but there's one s 
I think I get one in between. So this is another weird little section that I was, was a bit frightening because of all the lava. These villager... Um, See, so yeah, I wasn't mucking around with the lava. Got rid of all, as much of that as possible. And then I was like, oh, I think that must be it. And then there's more, so... But I'm pretty sure there was none, nothing else up there. It's a very weird little... They must have spawned in there, but I don't know why it would have been a... a villager zombie, if he got trapped in there. There's a couple of villages nearby. Um, there's, I'm directly under one, and there's another one a little bit, you know, a couple of hundred blocks away. So, I'm guessing he's one of those villages. Which, yeah, another exciting moment. It's it seems it's less exciting <laughs> when you're watching everything you fast forward, but when you're just mining for hours and then you, you come across a zombie that just attacks you it, it frightens you know it's a real shock so you sort of that's sort of what uh, is dangerous about this strategy this method of making videos is you sort of get you get into a you get a sense false sense of security just doing the same thing over and over again yeah. And so when something happens, it, it's a bit of a surprise. So yeah, each as soon as I get down to the bedrock level, I move it black back one block, and then just do the whole thing again. So each sort of slice of the the hole just takes a little bit longer each time. And so I, I, ideally, I want to have it. Like, I, for some reason, I've got the idea of 16 by 16 um, by 16 cubes. That's the sort of size of each section. So I want to probably have nine, a cube of nine. So it'll be three lots of 16 wide and and long. So it'll be, I don't know how many that is, but it's it's a lot. Since I've barely got one, you know, I might have one in here so far, and I need to have another two lots on either side. And even then, I, I mightn't have enough uh, room, but I've sort of started getting this idea about doing sort of layers and stuff too. So what have I got here? Why am I stop this bit? Ah, I found some diamonds! So I think this is one I leave behind because it's just sort of, I figure I'll get it later. Because, yeah, I, I was very lucky I got a whole bunch of diamonds early on. In episode one, I think, I got like nine diamonds. So I just figured oh, I'll use these diamonds to just clear out this space down here. And I hadn't really needed any diamonds after that. But soon, uh, s soon I start running out of um, my diamond tools start breaking, so I have to start getting more diamonds. To cause, yeah, doing this with uh, it's just not even a good idea with iron tools and stone tools. It just it takes way too long. I mean, it takes way too long already. It needs you know I need the in you know efficiency in unbreaking. But I don't even have those. So diamond tools were a must for this because it just takes so long so I've already lost count of how many uh, little bits there have been so each each one of those little bits is usually about half an hour of um, of real time so Usually, about. It's, I think I figured out it's when I'm fast forwarding. It's at eight times, so you know, eight hours is one hour. So four hours is you know, thirty minutes or so. So this this one goes for about forty minutes, forty-eight minutes. So quite a lot of time. 
So yeah, you can see I'm getting down to the bedrock here. And so yeah, I even dig out all the stone and dirt. And eventually it all gets it'll all get filled in and it'll be at the level of one block above the highest bedrock. Oh, what am I going to... Uh, the other, the new idea that I've had for what to do if this, if, if I die in this season is to go the complete opposite. So build uh, my base at the complete summit of the world. So it would be uh, 128 blocks high. So I'll be, <laughs> it'll be uh, on a big plat platform up near the, the sky. So yeah, if you think this was... Uh, get these weird ideas trying to do different things that I haven't done before in the game and I think after this after this game I'll have no desire to build another base at bedrock level I just wish you had that block you know that axe you could get oh what's this oh this is another weird frozen you know those pickaxes you could get in the stampy's um, race to the moon where you could mine like nine blocks at a time oh, I wish they'd make that thing that would make that would have made this so much easier it's a hammer I think it was actually not a, a pickaxe you could use it crazy hammer so yeah you can see I get this down to a fine art yeah, bucket so yeah, there's the um, through through the um, even that furnace now is like right up near the roof. Oh, that's the end of another episode. Another little chunk. You'll notice that between these streams, I, I have a very high tolerance for repetitive mining because I it takes me until I don't know maybe the last three or four sort of bits of all of these between the streams stuff that I've recorded that I just get bored with, that I've just finally had enough of the digging and I start going up to the surface and and uh, doing something else. Okay, so I've come up to the surface, and then something's happened, and I've I've left the. I figured I must have figured it was daytime. All right, so this is where, this is the square I was talking about, the 16 by 16 block. So this is me getting the coordinates of each of the corners, because I needed to go up and get water anyway, by the looks, because I keep losing the water. So I was getting the coordinates of the corners, so I could. Um, bring them a lot of sort of extend them down to uh, down here because that is sort of going to be the centerpiece of uh, the base is this um, thing down here so this is sort of it took me that long to remember that that was my original idea so <laughs> it took, took me like 30 minutes so it took me four hours of digging to remember oh yeah that's what I was going to do and so <laughs> I've gone I've had to I've in the meantime I've done this whole other plan of what I'm going to do so all right I figured it out and now I'm trying to find the I think I think I am trying to just make room for the basically I just call them poles the, the four poles of the the surface square. So there's one. Here I am again, just having a break. So there's another one. And so once I've got those, then I just decide, well, that's going to be the center of the dig of the 
build so I go try and go bedrock around those levels and then expand out concentrically and you know the staircase sort of s staircase concentric squares Yeah, it took me ages to remember th that that was what I was actually going to be planning on doing. And that sort of re really sort of shapes the the base, but it also means a lot more digging. As you can see, I just sort of just went, oh, I'm going to have a break. So, so yeah, I probably just got up and I thought about editing these bits out, but I don't know, I figured I'd have something to talk about, but I don't. Uh, so here I am digging some more obsidian. Yeah. This is for all you obsidian diggers out there. Oh, another edit. I really like those edits. They look cool. The static. I don't know what that one was the little robots was. That was... I sort of like it because, yeah, my... That's my sort of... Uh, avatar for this season is that little robot dude. My last couple of seasons has been that little robot dude from some game or other that I've n no idea what it is. I just think he looks cute. Just reminds me of that Wally movie. Looks like e Eve, Eva from Wally. So sort it of looks like an Eva robot to me. So yeah, you can see I'm just sort of leveling it out. And then, yeah, so I try and get all the way down to bedrock on each of these sort of sides and then extend it out. But I'd already sort of s s s done this other weird sort of dig, so it's, sort of, it's not a perfect square, which sort of bugs me because I'm su super obsessive compulsive in Minecraft. I like having everything the way I, just the way I want it. So I've got this weird little sort of chunk, but it's going to, it's going to, You'll, you'll find out later, but it's sort of got these other things that are going to prevent the beautiful s symmetrical uh, shape. It's going to be thwarted by other, you know, environmental things. So yeah, I've got to try and figure out something to do with all the obsidian. I think there'll probably be some sort of obsidian uh, theme to one of the rooms. It's going to be mostly sort of an open plan sort of. Um, there's not going to be a lot of walls or doors in this base. Um, which could be a problem when the... If, if I ever get a villager um, farm down here. Which I might. You get this weird sort of checker pattern of dirt and obsidian too when you dig up this lava. So, as you can see, it's relatively safe this method which is sort of the number one priority even though the suggestion of jumping from the highest point in the world and saving myself from death by putting a bucket of water down has been offered out and I have accepted the offer the challenge has been accepted but whether I will do it or not is another thing I want to try and, at the very least, I want to defeat the Ender Dragon in this one. Alright, so I've still got a few more blocks to go down, I think, before I get to the bedrock level. Alright, more digging. So much digging. I just love watching that ghost pickaxe though. It's so good. But 
that's the little area I'm talking about sort of it's like an indent where I have my um, infinite water source and um, later on you'll see that's where I have my uh, sugar cane farm and my sort of water strip for making concrete because I'm going to make a lot of concrete in this world which sort of sets up some of the other things that I'm going to do in these episodes between the streams it's lots of lots of prep So yeah, the other reason I do these record all this stuff is just in case that something bad should happen and I die. At least I've got a recording of it and I can put it up like I did at the uh, like I did last season, season four, where I died off off camera, off the stream. Oh, here we go. I must have found another diamond. Oh yeah, this is me digging them up. Yeah, the pick the pickaxe has. Uh, I'm running low on diamond pickaxes, so I had to go and try and uh, harvest these ones that from earlier. Um, but I ran out of room, so I had to get rid of some stuff. Still haven't really done much organising. So oh, I, I get a f I get a few diamonds here. I think I get enough for a couple of pickaxes. But you can see I sort of I'm not even after after I've run out of diamond pickaxes a couple of times I start just using the diamond pickaxes on the uh, obsidian but um, up until this point I'm just just using them on everything in the interest of time getting getting through everything I think if I get um, efficiency and unbreaking you know I'll probably do that anyway I don't mind using up diamonds every now and again. So yeah, fill fill that in. Collected those diamonds. Get some more wood. Cook some cook some uh, charcoal up for torches. Because this space has to be so well lit. So I do not want creepers to spawn and kill me, especially at this stage where I've got no enchantments and I've only got iron armor. I don't even think I've got iron armor. I think I've just got boots and leather armor at this point. So the uh, sound of um, the sound of uh, the diamond pickaxe mining uh, obsidian at eight times speed is very similar to the sound you get when like a Christmas beetle gets caught between the glass on your windows and it's trying to escape it, and that's what it sounds like to me very a specific reference So it still looks like I've got a little bit more to go before the um so yeah you can see how big that um like sixteen by sixteen blocks for this doesn't sound like a lot but it's it's huge when you have to dig it all out. Yeah, it just sounds like an insect. Trying to get out the window. So I'm going up to the surface. I wonder what I'm going up for this time. You can see the grass is growing down. Mowing over some pigs. Getting some water. 
Yeah, I do that a lot. I keep putting the um, the water into the lava, and instead of re extracting the water back out, I just put the dirt in, and so I lose the water. And so this is why I decided to make an in, uh, infinite water source. So I didn't have to run all the way up to the surface again to do it. But I really want to get... Oh, yeah, I've got another achievement. Pork chop. That was the one I got off off the stream last time too. I forget that eating a pork chop is an achievement. So, or a trophy. So, that was the second one I've got off the stream. But yeah, I want to find out what the coordinates are for the well on the surface and bring it, have it go all the way down to the bottom. Um, but, or at least have, you know, a uh, you know, a well at the same um, coordinates down on the, at the bedrock level. So we're starting to get there now, I think. We got it to a bedrock. So we've got about... I've got a... yeah. Um, Probably will end quite suddenly this video because I'm. I, oh, there's another <laughs> rampage against the the wandering tra tradesmen. Going to slow motion. What have you got? <laughs> Is it going to save you? No, it doesn't. You have nothing I want, merchant. And so then back t back to work, chopping down trees, digging obsidian. trying to think if there's anything else that happens in this episode between the streams. It's possible, I guess. So I'm getting really close now. Yeah, you can see it's quite a big space. Yeah, that's my goal is to so I'm not I'm gonna have these huge long between the streams episodes. I wanna keep them under thirty minutes. Hopefully that'll mean I'll get to it'll be a good balance. Yeah, we're sort of set for a lot of materials. talk about <laughs> oh we've got a break coming up I can, I can sense it and five four three two break oh look at that perfect and I think this might be the last section the last little bit Still not a bedrock, man. This takes forever. Got some lapis. Yeah, it's mostly you just didn't want any lava. So if you go all the way down to bedrock, you get well, every single lava block that you can that you have to worry about. Not that you know. I'm worried about it. It's just like, yeah, my obsessive, compulsive. Do 
FJ. I, I think I'm going to dial back these massive grindy digs and just do a little bit each 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 time so I don't have to but I also toyed about doing sections like I'm I'm at the point where I want to make my um, enchantment table but I haven't finished the space so I'm going to just have to focus on digging out that space and Because, yeah, the enchant like, doing all this digging sort of really hammers the point home. I, I need those enchantments to speed the process up a bit. Getting near the end of the of this first part between episodes two and three of uh, McVizzle's Hardcore Survivor World Season Five. And I don't think anything else happens in this one, but I honestly can't remember. It all sort of becomes a blur, <laughs> a literal blur but also uh, just so much digging just all becomes the same. Oh, no, I thought there might have been something, but it's not. All right, well, congratulations if you managed to sit through all of this. You're dedicated. I thank you. Uh, It is sort of like director commentary for Minecraft. Right. Okay, well, this is the end of part one. And uh, I'll probably see you later for part two. So, take it easy. I'll see you later.